Hey guys, it's your girl Lakelia coming to do an overall review of my yummy extensions that I purchased. Remember, this is the raw Cambodian wavy elegance tight wave. So I'm just going to update you on the pros and cons of this hair, any issues or issues that I may or may not have had with this hair. If you remember, I purchased a 20, a 16, well, a 20, 18, 16, and a 16 inch closure. However, if you remember or recall in my part one install video, I explained that I only had the 20, 16, and the 16 inch closure installed because of my own negligence. I messed up my 18 inch, give or take a couple of tracks that were able to be saved. So as you see, this is the hair. It does still maintain its wave pattern. It's not as tight as it was when I initially purchased the hair. However, this hair has been blow dried. After shampooing it, this hair has been flat ironed several times over as well as, well as curled with my curling irons. You see the waves are still defined. Again, they're not as tight as they initially were when I first purchased the hair. If you remember in the initial video of me purchasing and doing the reveal of the hair, the waves were a lot tighter to the point to where I was seeing some companies may even reference it as a really loose curl because it had some coral on the end. In general with this hair, I love it. I actually made an additional purchase to buy more hair for my daughter for her prom. You'll see that in the link below. Um, with her hair, I purchased a 12, 14, and a 16 for her hairstyle. But again, back to this hair. You see the waves, you can see that they are still there. They're still defined. It's a nice deep wave, not necessarily a tight wave, but the wave isn't as loose as a natural wave. If you wanted to know whether you should or should not purchase this hair, I personally would recommend this hair. Being that the hair is still soft, it maintains its softness throughout everything that I've done to the hair. I do have a couple of tracks that actually did dye. And those are the ones, as you see, that's a little looser in the wave right here. You're not really able to see the color, but as you see, some of the wave is a little more looser than the rest of the hair. But overall, it maintained it's waved pattern. Um, the con, I would say, with this hair overall is that the bundles are only like three ounce bundles. I'm used to purchasing hair that's three and a half, sometimes four ounces. I've dealt with companies in the past where you can actually buy the hair by the ounce and, you know, get as much as you want per length. The pros of this hair is I had very, very minimal shedding. And the reason for the shedding, as I explained in previous videos, is because the tracks, the wealth, excuse me, were cut, as you can see. However, the shedding for the wefts that have been cut weren't as, wasn't as bad, rather, as I would have thought. I absolutely had no matting with the hair at all. What else? Um, my closure. This is the closure. It still remains some of the little tighter curl wave, excuse me, than my bundles. But for the most part, yeah, I love this hair. And I would definitely recommend it. This hair is still, the, the excuse me, the closure is still drying as you can see. But overall, I would definitely recommend this hair if that's something you're considering to purchase. Um, what else with this hair? The wefts. 
are still intact. You know, sometimes you see the little beards coming up through it right here. But that's from me pulling probably when I taken it out. But overall, the wefts are still good. The wave pattern overall is still good. And I had no problems with this hair at all. I, had, I got a lot of compliments on this hair. People asking where did I purchase this hair. Again, this is the Yummy Elegance hair. They're raw Cambodian tight wave. And it's definitely worth the money. Right now, I know they're having a Memorial Day sale. I think today is the last day where you could get any length ranging from a 16 on up to a 24 inch for, I think it's $110. And their 1214 is going for $95. Um, what else is there I could say about this hair? Like I said, I had no tangles. No, absolutely no matting. I mean, there were nights when I wasn't even tying my hair up and I would fall asleep and wake up in the morning, just brush it out. You know, a few little kinks here because of me not having it tied up, but that's pretty typical with even our natural hair. But once I brushed it out, I was good to go. I wore it wet. I think a couple of times, which I did a video on that as well. But for the most part, I pretty much kept it straight. Uh, or I may have had it curled. And the times where it was worn wet, I would just take it and put it into two braids overall. What I did when I taken the hair out is I let it soak in, excuse me, soak in conditioner overnight. So... After soaking it in conditioner, doing a co-wash, then I went back in and I actually did do a thorough shampoo. And I let it sit in the shampoo just to wash away all the residue, you know. And then I went back in, did a deep condition on it again, let it sit, and one more shampoo conditioner run through. And now here's the results of it hanging on the hanger as it's drying, preparing for me actually to get it installed again on Friday. So, I definitely would recommend this hair. If there's any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them below in regards to this hair. If there's something that you think I may have forgotten in regards to this hair that you want to know about, please do not hesitate to ask. And... Please just reference the previous videos where you could see the difference of how the texture did pull some. Not major, but it did pull some. I won't deny that. But again, it still also maintains its wavy. The waves are deeper than a natural wave, but not as deep as a tight wave. So I would say more of a loose wave. Like I said, if you remember in previous videos... I, well, in the initial videos before having the hair installed, I referenced the hair as probably a loose curl because there was some curls in the waves and you could see how it did curl at the end. This is the hair from a different angle. <clears throat> Just so you can see the waves are still maintained and then I'm going to record it on a different wall which generally shows a better highlight of the waves and the texture again here's a different angle of the hair just so you can see how it did maintain its wave the waves again this is the 16 inch closure along with my 20 inch and my 16 inch bundles remember I explained it in a previous video I think part one of the install video how the 18 was messed up but there are a couple of tracks that I was able to say which as you see those are the ones right here because I added color to them so again any questions comments please feel free to place them below I will not hesitate to answer or respond. 
And if there's anything else you would like for me to address regarding this hair, I will be more than happy to do so. Again, this is my Yummy Elegance Extensions I purchased back in March when the hair first launched, the Raw Cambodian Wavy Elegance Tight Wave. Thanks for watching.